Howdy guys, in today's video of Wildcard, we're going to be looking at how to activate the program when connected to the internet. But otherwise, let's have a quick intro first. So, today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. Um, yeah, we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we have daily updates. Otherwise, back to the tutorial, yeah? Now, uh, just a reminder, this is a mini-series on basically activating and deactivating the program. In the first two videos, we've already covered the demo mode and manual activation. And now today we're going to be looking at online activation. Now, this is most probably the um, standard way most of you are going to go if you have a computer that does have internet. Rather short, easy and simple. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So now what you want to do is after you've started your program, you'll be met with this little screen that just tells you basically about the demo mode and what you can be expecting. So if you had to click OK, you'll be going into demo mode. But in my case, it won't because uh, my 30 days is already expired. Then you can always, um, if you don't have a license key, you can always go here and purchase a license key on the vinyl color seal ZA. Just click on the little button and it should take you there. Otherwise, what we'll do, we go to activate. And then you can see we met you by two fields. They ask you please enter your name and serial, which we have here. And then um, this is obviously for manual activation, which we covered in the previous video. So I'm just going to block out these uh, fields and put in my details and then carry on from there. Okay, so now first of all, you put in your name. And then you can also then put in your serial number. Just gonna paste that in there and then yeah then you, what you want to do is you go to and click OK now as you guys can see they just give us a little thank you message here and then they say uh, thank you for activating the software if you need to move the software to a new computer you can choose to deactivate under the help menu requires an internet connection uninstalling the software from a um, computer does not automatically deactivate it so that is good to keep in mind so that uh, you don't think you're just gonna uninstall yeah reinstall on another computer if you've upgraded or so forth you need to deactivate and that will be the topic of our next um, tutorial so otherwise if we head here to uh, vinyl cut let's see that today just say okay yeah we're going to start the program for me now but yeah so in any case so if we uh just gonna say no minimize that so anyways where was i yeah so if we go to software uh vinyl cut .za, that program is freely available here like i mentioned in the previous or the first tutorial just click on the downloads and it'll take you to the right place then otherwise on the software training .za, we have a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right here if you're looking for anything specific but if you do not find what you're looking for you can always go here and request the training video then we will make that video for you otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers